Welcome to my Getting Started with Elasticsearch course. In this course, I will guide you through the basics of Elasticsearch. I'm Sezin Karla, and I will be your instructor throughout this course. I worked at Alcatel Lucent and Sony Eurasia as a software developer. And currently, I'm working at Turkey's largest advertisement and shopping website, which is sahibinnan.com. I'm a technical speaker and an instructor, and also an Elasticsearch lover. First, we will begin by installing an Elasticsearch server and starting a new node. After that, we will install two popular plugins of Elasticsearch, Head and Marvel plugins. Later, we will move to crude operations. Creating documents in Elasticsearch will be our first lecture. We will also learn how to retrieve them. Later, we will learn how to update and delete the documents. I can recommend this course to anyone with the motivation to learn Elasticsearch. You can be a software developer or a database admin or a data scientist or a researcher who has an interest in Elasticsearch. And the only thing you will need is the basic SQL knowledge. Nothing else is needed for this course. No computer science degree, no coding experience, nothing. So happy learning everyone! In this lecture, I will give you a brief introduction to Elasticsearch. I will try to answer questions such as, what is Elasticsearch? Which companies use it? and how we communicate with our Elasticsearch server. Elasticsearch is a real-time distributed search and analytics engine. It is built on top of Apache Lucent, which is a full-text search engine. It's a distributed document store and features real-time analytics. Which companies use Elasticsearch? StumbleUpon, Mozilla, Quora, and lots of other big companies use Elasticsearch. Sahibinnan.com, which is the largest online classifieds and e-commerce platform in Turkey, the company I work in, also uses Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is document-oriented, that is, it stores our objects as they are. We don't take our object into several parts and fit it into several tables as we do with relational databases for the sake of normalization. Furthermore, Elasticsearch indexes our documents so that the content is searchable. That is the power of full text search. You can communicate with Elasticsearch via REST API. Elasticsearch uses JSON, JavaScript Object Notation Format. You send your JSON document over HTTP to Elasticsearch and you take the response again as a JSON document. Check the document I retrieve for the awesome movie. It is quite easy to read compared to several joint results of a relational database table. We have name, year, genre and other attributes as well. In this lecture, I'll talk about the terminology you'll need about Elasticsearch. After this lecture, you'll know what is index, type, document. What's a node, cluster, shard, and a replica? In relational database management systems, we have a database, and tables inside the database, and tuples inside the table. In Elasticsearch, we have an index, types inside the index, and documents inside the type. So roughly, database is like an index, table is like a type, and tuple is like a document. To make things a little bit clearer, I have to tell you that indexing a document in Elasticsearch is used as inserting, updating a document. So the verb and noun versions have different meanings. Node is a running instance of Elasticsearch. De facto usage is one node per server. When you start a node, it tries to find and join a cluster. A cluster is a group of nodes. Each cluster has a single master node, which is chosen automatically. When we say shard, we generally want to say primary shard. Primary shard is the first place where your document is stored when you index it. After your document is indexed in the primary shard, the replicas of your primary shard will get their copy as well. When we say shard, 
We generally want to say replica shard, which is just a copy of the primary shard. So why would I want several copies of the data? Why waste precious disk space? Because I want a backup plan if primary shard goes down. And the replica shards can also enhance performance of Elasticsearch. So the closing question for this chapter, what if I want to put a primary shard and its replica on the same node? The answer is both will fail and you will lose your data. So now you know why Elasticsearch does not put the shard and its replica on the same node. During this lecture, we will first install Elasticsearch on Windows. And after that, we will run a node of Elasticsearch. Open your favorite browser and go to Elastic.co which is the official website for Elasticsearch. Go to Downloads and after that follow the download link of Elasticsearch. You can click on zip and after that we will unzip it to the desired folder. Let's click on it. It will take some time to download it and after it is finished we will unzip it. Open the file with your favorite zip extractor and extract this folder inside a folder you want. I will use the C root directory in Windows. I click on OK. OK. Now let's check the result. Under C. And under the root directory, you can see Elasticsearch 1.60. To run a new node, all you have to do is to enter in bin directory and double click on elasticsearch.batch file. It will automatically start a new node for you. As, as you can see, your node is started. In this lecture, we will learn how to install Elasticsearch on Mac and how to start a node. The easiest way to install on Mac is by installing using Homebrew. First, you have to install Homebrew. Then we will write brew update to terminal. After that, we will write brew install Elasticsearch. OK, the installation is complete. Let's copy the last line. We will use it for starting a new node. We are now writing the last line Homebrew gave us. As you can see, the node is up and running. In this lecture, I will explain how we can install Head and Marvel plugins which are quite useful. Marvel contains the Sense plugin that we will use in every single lecture of our course. If you will use Elasticsearch version 2, then just skip the Marvel plugin and install only the Head plugin. In another lecture, we will install Kibana and Kibana contains the Sense plugin we will need. Head and Marvel plugins are both very useful plugins. The first one is a web frontend for browsing and interacting with an Elasticsearch cluster. The second one, Marvel, is for monitoring your cluster. 
Marvel contains Sense plugin, which we will use throughout our course. For installing both of them, let's find our Elasticsearch folder. I double click on C drive and find my Elasticsearch folder. I hold the shift button and do a right click so I can open command window here. Later I will write plugin and I click on enter. It will first download and later it is installed on our Elasticsearch server. OK, as the head plugin is OK, now I will install the other one, the Marvel plugin. Again, I write plugin I I click on enter. And as you can see, it's done. Marvel plugin is also installed. We can start a new node and try if they are successfully installed. I double click on Elasticsearch.bat. As you can see, both of the plugins are loaded, Marvel and Head. OK, our node is now started. Now let's write localhost 9200 plugin and head for seeing the interface of head plugin. As you can see, there is no indices here yet. Now let me show you the Marvel plugin. I simply replace the word head with the word Marvel. Click on continue free trial. And there you are. As you can see, there are lots of information regarding your node of Elasticsearch. You can click on dashboards and after that on Sense to activate the Sense plugin. Notice that we will use it throughout our course. Click on Get to Work and there you are. During our Elasticsearch in Action course, we will use the Sense plugin. And if you install Elasticsearch version 2, then you have to install Kibana for using the Sense plugin. So in this lecture, we will install Kibana and Sense. If you work with the previous version, then you can skip this lecture. First, open your web browser and go to elastic.co. After that, click on download and here download Kibana. I will download the Windows version. After the download is complete, open the zip file with your favorite zip manager. Then open the zip file and extract to the desired folder. I will put it under the C directory. After the installation is complete, go to the directory we installed Kibana. 
Then go into the folder and into the bin folder again. Now we are into the bin folder of Kibana. Hold shift and do a right click and open co command prompt window here. Now we will install the sense plugin of Kibana. So I'm going to write Kibana plugin. Install elastic slash sense. Now that the Sense plugin installation is complete, we can launch the Sense plugin. But first, make sure that your Elasticsearch node is up and running. Okay, now let's open localhost. 5601 slash app and slash Sense. But first, launch Kibana, of course. Okay, Kibana is ready. Now let's go to this URL. Okay, Kibana is loading. And here it is, the sense window we will use throughout the course. During these lectures, you will learn the most basic crude operations on Elasticsearch. That is, create, read, update and delete. We will index a document, that is, create one. We will learn several query types, so we can read the documents we just indexed. We will do a full update on our documents. And the last lecture is delete, where we will delete our documents based on ID. Deezer is one of the companies that uses Elasticsearch. So we will create our Deezer song index during the lectures. We will begin by create. We will now learn how to index a document. After this lecture, you will know how to index a document with custom ID. The general form we will use is put, after that the index, the type, and the ID. Remember that index is like a database, type is like a table, and ID is the unique identifier we have. And after that, we will put our document as a JSON. As an example, consider this. My index is my Deezer because I'm trying to mimic Deezer. My type is song and my unique identifier is one. And after that, I have a song, as you can see. Now let's see it on an example. Before beginning anything, just make sure that your Elasticsearch node is up and running. And after that, we will open the Sense plugin. We will write localhost 9200 plugin Marvel and Sense. And after that, we will see this Sense screen. Now, let's begin by indexing few documents, few songs in particular. We will do put. I said my Deezer as index, song as type, and first I will use one as ID. I will put my song here. My songs have five attributes, so five fields. The first one is title. The name of my first song is Doing All Right. from the artist, of course, Queen. And the album is again Queen. And the year they published this album is 1973. 
and I will put time here, the running time for the song, which will be 269 seconds. Okay, so let's index it. I will click here on the play button, green play button. And okay, it's in next. Let's click closer to the response of Elasticsearch server. The index here is our index my deezer and the type is song just as we choose it an ID the unique identifier is one yes it was one like this and version is one why it is one because this is the first time our Elasticsearch server is seeing this document with this ID we are not updating it nor deleting it each action such as indexing, updating, or deleting, will increment this version by one. So if I update this, I will have version two. If I delete this, I will have version three, okay? Created is true because this is the first time we are creating it. Now let's insert other songs that you can find in the resources section. I will do a smooth copy paste Now let's click on put, click here, again put, click here, and each time we will insert a new document to our Elasticsearch index. We just inserted five songs to our Deezer index. Now let's check the documents we index to make sure. But for this we have to move to the next lecture and learn how to read documents from Elasticsearch. In this lecture, we will learn the easiest way to retrieve our documents, that is, get documents by ID. Furthermore, we will see how to get only a part of a document. We will use the following syntax, get, index, type, and unique identifier. So in our case, get, my deezer, song, and two next to it, will retrieve me the song with ID 2. Now let's try it on our index. Let's write get my deezer, which is my index, song is my type, and let's retrieve the ID number 3. Yes, as you can see, we have this song. Title is Hall of the Mountain King and the artist is Savatash. It is also possible to get just a part of your document instead of the whole document. You can think of it such as putting the fields in a select statement instead of using star. Assume that I only want the album and artist of the first document. So I will write one question mark source and I will write the fields one by one, album, comma, and artist. So the album and artist of the first song is Queen and Queen, okay? As you can see, all the fields except album and artist are omitted. So it's all for getting documents by ID. In this lecture, we will talk about the most basic type of update, which is full update. Updating with ID is quite straightforward. The general syntax for this is put, index, type, and unique identifier. And after that, the document we will insert. So it's basically the same with indexing, right? Now let's first insert a new document and then change its time value and insert it again. Why we are doing this? Because the first time we had an error in this field, so we want to reinsert it. That is updated. Now let's put a new song to our index. I will say put my deezer again song and this time I will use 6 as ID. 
the title is I can't hold back and the artist is of course survivor and the album is as you know I'm sure of it vital science and the year is a well-known novel which is 1984 and the time that is the duration of the song is 260 seconds so let's index it Okay, created true version 1 so no problem here and we decided to update the time for this entry because it's not 260 but it's 300 right the song is longer so we again hit the button and as you can see it's not created this is false and the version is 2 because we just updated it now let's see if it's really updated or not I will get by ID again and yes time is 300 so the song is updated in this lecture you will learn deleting documents with ID the generally usage for deleting by ID is delete your index your type and the ID that is the unique identifier of the document so let's delete the document from our index we will do this by writing delete my deezer song and let's delete the song with ID 1 doing all right from Queen okay so found is true because we have a song with ID 1 index and type and ID these are the values you know already and version is 2 because we inserted it and after that we del deleted it so when we created the version was 1 and when we deleted it became 2 now let's check if the document is really removed so I will do get my deezer song and one and as you can see nothing is found and found flag is false here now let's try to remove it again it's not possible right because we just deleted it let's see yes so found field is false as you can see because there was no document to delete the second time right deleting a document from Elasticsearch does not delete it instantly Elasticsearch will remember them and clean them later during this time you won't be able to reach them after this getting started with Elasticsearch course I'm sure that you know how to install Elasticsearch its plugins and how to start a new node furthermore basic crude operations in Elasticsearch should be a piece of cake for you so thank you very much for participating and following the course and don't forget to watch the bonus course which will show you the way to become an Elasticsearch Jedi I want to thank you for participating to my course and I want to invite you to my Elasticsearch in action course I highly recommend this course for anyone who want to have an in-depth knowledge of Elasticsearch and who want to become an Elasticsearch Jedi things we didn't mention in our crude operations chapter was creating documents with auto-generated ID getting documents in bulk deleting documents by query which will be useful all the time concurrency in Elasticsearch which is important if you have several parties working on the same documents partial update of documents for a better performance in updates 
and bulk request in Elasticsearch for a performance lift in all crude operations. And also we have entire chapters dedicated to mapping and analysis, search in depth, sorting and relevance. I'd like to share with you a discount coupon for this course. Its current price is $49 and with this coupon you will pay only $15. So either redeem a coupon or follow the link in this lecture's description. Coupon code for the discount is ACTION15.